It is an absolutely gorgeous night in Washington, Pennsylvania, and we welcome you to Lou Hayes Pony Field, the Dick's Aiden Broad Show. Number six, Danny Albina. We'll see the right-hander, Aiden Brocho, coming on as the second Netherlands pitcher of the game. So DeGro works two-plus innings and is already this right-hander coming on for the Netherlands, Aiden Brocho. Coming on with a man on and nobody out. We're going to be the case. And Lozano, or rather, we've got a uh, pinch hitter here for Brownsville. Michael Ramos. And he takes a strike. Ramos batting for pitcher Lozano. 7 2 in favor of Brownsville. And here's Estrada. Breaking ball from Brocho. One ball pitch. Strike called on the outside corner. And the next pitch, strike called on the outside corner. Down Ohio in, a, uh, in an elimination game. 2 2 pitch. Ground ball left side. Handled by the stumbling shortstop Camp, he gets off a strong. Four runs, rather five runs in the inning for Brownsville. Ground ball to the shortstop Camp, glides towards second, steps on second, fires to first. It's a 6-3 frame finishing double play. But Brownsville scores five runs on four hits. Bottom of the fourth inning. And Hosa with a swing and a miss. Hosa does to make it 2-1, and then later the Buckos turned and tacked on two more runs, 1-1. There was a scary moment in that game. Uh, I believe it was the eighth inning. Closed out that ball, no more threat. There's a call strike, 2-2. Two and two. And if anybody ever asks you who caught the final fly ball in the 1979 World Series, the answer is Omar Moreno, Pat Kelly. Two balls, two strikes. You know, one thing I want to look up at some time when I have an opportunity since you brought it up. Swing and a miss ball dropped by the catcher. Throw to first base. Dug out of the dirt by Cruz. The strike is leading 9-2. to two. What was that you wanted to check out? Well, some of this is because in, in his prime, it was almost like he was unstoppable. This ball, a 1-0 pitch, hit in the air to right field. Edge of the warning track, right fielder Velders, Nikosha, and Ed Ott. Eighth batter was Phil Garner, and Garner an outstanding number eight hitter. Ground ball to third. Haswell's got it. And the throw across. That's out number three. Parra retired. Brownsville, no runs, no hits, a walk, and one left on base. After four innings of play. Second inning for Brocho. I take it back third inning for him. He came on uh, in the middle of the third inning, so officially he's worked two. And 9-3, Brownsville, Texas leads. Ball hit in the air. High to left field. This is not going to carry, however. And left fielder Lemaire makes the grab one away. Black Bears, the Pirate AAA affiliate in Morgantown. One strike. And uh, Tony Sun is also good. 0-2 pitch. Fly ball into shallow left center field. Lunging for the ball is center fielder Moxelar, and he makes the catch. First at bat, swings at the first pitch, two hopper to second baseman. Legito out number three. Brownsville set down in order. After five innings. Quick. Aiden Broad show. The right hander delivers. Pitch fouled straight. Ramirez, the runner at first with nobody out. 0 2 pitch. Base hit through the hole on the left side. Browns up with it. But Thirteen hits in the game now, and we're going to get a pitching change. Wade Brocho goes three innings plus two batters here into, <clears throat> excuse me, his fourth inning of work. <coughs> 
to this point, he's given up one run. It was earned on four hits, one walk, and one strikeout, but he is responsible.